YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja. Today's video is all about keeping your living space or office clean. Now, since we're at the point of working from home for I don't know how much longer, being home all the time, your office space gets dirty and messy. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a really nifty tool that can help us with this mess and keeping our carpets and our floors clean. This RoboVac does a few things I've never seen before. It empties itself out when it's done cleaning. It can remember multiple floors. It can clean a specific room just by telling it to clean that room. It has a lot of smart features baked in. This is the DBot Osmo T8 and a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. But as always, all the opinions are my own and they did not approve this script or even see this video before it went live. The T8 is the first vacuum and mopping robot using TrueDetect 3D technology, which is using light structure and a 3D scanning algorithm. That's a lot of words, but what that means is that the robot scans the surrounding areas to navigate the room properly to avoid collisions and getting stuck. As you guys know from previous videos, I've always talked about DBot and as far as the way that it navigates the room and it does a good job at not getting in situations where it can't get out of. DBot is also saying this is four times more accurate than other robot systems on the market. So if it's four times more accurate than the previous models, then you can expect this one to be extremely accurate and very precise when it's navigating the room. Taking a look at the T8 from the outside, it appears to look like any other robot vacuum cleaner from DBot, right? It's not assuming, it's a gray color, has these little sparkles in the paint design, which shines a little bit when the light hits it. On the top portion, it houses the True Detect 3D sensor, and it has kind of a chameleon color shifting effect on it. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, speaking of functionality, you get three hours of runtime for a single charge, and of course, when the battery gets low, it can go back and charge automatically. It does vacuum and mop your floor simultaneously. It cleans up dust and stains. And the way it works is you add water to the tank and when it's on a hard surface, it's smart enough to know to mop. So it's always vacuuming and when it's mopping, it avoids carpet so you don't have wet carpet. Now the cleaning power on the carpet is pretty strong. You know, strong enough to leave some pretty deep lines when it's done cleaning the floor. You know, you can set a schedule, you come home from work or wherever, you get these really nice deep lines in the carpet, really nice to look at. Now, people always wanna talk about pet hair. They always ask me that question. I don't have pets, so I can't check pet hair, but I have a toddler and toddlers are pretty messy, so there's crumbs and all sorts of random debris in the carpet. I will say that as far as picking stuff out of the carpet, the robot does a really great job with it. Now I do find myself moving the suction to a higher level because I have a higher apply carpet and sometimes things get deep in there. So moving that suction up higher, it really gets down deep in there and grabs that debris and it leaves me with some pretty clean carpet. Now, as I said, it does mopping, but there's also an additional mopping attachment if you want to really do some good mopping. This is called the Osmo Pro Mopping System. And this is actually applying pressure to the floor and it's using vibrations to remove dirt off the floor. It's one of those crazy things that when you see it, it looks kind of funny, but it's, it's kind of shaking back and forth. What it's doing is it's using vibrations to get the stains out of the floor. Other mopping robots kind of just glaze over everything. It's not really scrubbing it. The T8 is using elbow grease, if you will, to really scrub the floor. That's where the vibration comes into. It's simulating scrubbing and that removes stains. Now, when this attachment is on there, it does not go over carpet. It's actually just allowing it to do hard surfaces. The robot actually knows that it's attached. It, it will say it out loud once it's on there, and then from there, it will avoid the carpets and stick to those areas. Now, installing this attachment is pretty simple. You just remove the initial mopping tray that's in there, and then you add the Osmo Pro mopping system. Just add a little bit of water and put on one of the pads, and then you snap it in. Now corners is one thing that uh, robot vacuum cleaners are not good at. And ones I've used in the market, a lot of times uh, it will sweep things into the corner and can't get to it or it doesn't hug the corners too well. I will say that this one does a really good job with the suction technology. It's really powerful, so it really brings that stuff out of the corners and it goes against the wall, kind of weaves back and forth as you see here. And when it's doing that, it is getting things out of the corner. 
Is it perfect? Of course not, but it's not leaving me with a lot of debris in the corner like I've seen with previous robots. I will say the bread and butter to me is the TrueTech 3D technology sensor. It can detect objects from 4.5 centimeters up to 30 centimeters. It can also detect very small objects, which Dbot says is 10 times more accurate than others. So things like screws, cables, and other small objects that would typically be an issue for robot vacuum cleaners, they'll go over things they shouldn't go over. One last piece of tech that I like that it does, it uses DTOF, which is direct time of flight laser detection, which gives it the ability to see larger objects and it defines a precise mapping path around it. Now, what does Dbot do with all this information? It remembers up to three separate floor plans, so it can automatically detect where it's at and choose the right map for the floor so it can clean it fast and efficiently. Previous robot vacuum cleaners, even the very advanced ones, you put it in an area that it doesn't recognize, it has to rescan the whole room. Even if you move the base over a couple feet, it does the same thing. This one right here memorizes the floor plan by using its sensors. It scans the room and says, okay, I've been here before. Then it goes back to cleaning the way it would before. It doesn't have to map the whole room out so you get a faster clean and it doesn't have to map everything out and do all that stuff over again. And of course, the icing on the cake is when it's done, it automatically empties the dustbin on its own in the auto empty station. It comes with a disposable dust bag, which uses paper handles. It's 2.5 liter, and that is enough to hold weeks worth of vacuuming. In my experience, personally, I got about three weeks of vacuuming and I vacuum about twice a week. So it filters about 99% of dust particles and allergens, according to Dbot. So if you're allergic to animals and things like that, it'll get the dander out of it and put it in there and should prevent you from being allergic. But once again, I don't have pets, I don't have pet allergies, so I couldn't test that feature. I would say having it clean itself out is pretty amazing. It removes one of the annoyances because they have this little dust bin and you have to dump it out and stuff flies all over the place. It removes that annoyance, which is definitely nice. Now the app is great. If you've ever used the Echovax app, then you know how it works. You set your schedules in the app and you can actually see the floor plan, the layout, and change all the settings when it's going through a clean. What I like to do is turn up the suction because of my carpet, how, how thick it is. Turn up the suction and get it. And then when I'm on the hardwood floor, I can lower the suction down too. So the app has a lot of great features in there and it's really cool. You can see where the robot's at as it's cleaning. You can see the, like, the little indicator on the map where it's at in your house. And you can also name rooms so I can name it my kid's room and then I can tell the robot to clean my kid's room or clean the kitchen. It is just really cool technology to see what the robot sees and it's all drawn out right in front of you. Anyways guys, this retails for just under $700 and you can find this product from my links below. You know, prices change quite often. I'm gonna have the most up-to-date pricing available down below. And also I do get a little kickback if you buy it from my link and it does help the channel out greatly. Anyways guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll let you guys later. Take care.